there's there's this constant um i guess discussion that happens where people say if you should use stock images or not now the one thing that i did realize within this this post that they made it said that even if you're using it basically says that you're allowed to use stock images let me scroll down and see where it actually does say that because they kind of inadvertently say that you're allowed to use stock images and that's definitely something i wanted to just kind of bring to the table just kind of see it um how, how everyone was feeling about that. Because in one of my previous videos, I discussed, um, I used the stock images for some clothing. And some people said, um, you know, it's against the it's against the eBay policy and stuff like that. But um, clearly eBay is, is, is allowing stock images because they're, they, they mentioned it here earlier. Here it is. How do I know if my listing is eligible for eBay's authenticity program? Then it says, um, number one, of course, meet the eligibility requirements. But two, it says, select the appropriate item condition when you list your sneakers for sale. For instance, new with box, a brand new unused and unworn item in the original packaging, such as the original box. Now, if using stock images or screenshots, all original accessories, including the laces, keychains, bags, etc., must be included. If taking your own photos, everything pictured will be assumed included. Now, I thought this was interesting because it says if you're using stock images um, or screenshots, all the original accessories must be included. If if we weren't allowed to use stock images, we wouldn't even discuss that at all. It wouldn't even specify that. So I think that's going to be um, somewhat of a, of a game changer for me. I know uh, I've always been one of those people that was very, very against using stock images. But lately, I've been starting to incorporate more stock images into my photos. Um, especially if it's a, if it's an item that kind of looks weird in certain, in certain lighting, I would include the stock image as the main picture. And then later on within, if we use 12 photos, some, some out of those 12, I would actually take actual photos of the item so that the buyer knows exactly what they're getting. So I'd show a picture of the size tag. I'd show a picture of the item, whether it's a flat lay, whether it's laying on a white background or something like that, uh, as well as the stock image. So that's definitely something I wanted to um, just kind of let you guys know about, because I know it's been a lot of debate whether or not we can use stock images. And I think eBay uh, just kind of let it be known that stock images are cool. So drop a comment if um, if you guys have been seeing any any news about stock images being used on eBay or anything like that. But that's definitely something I'm going to be um, taking more advantage of, because it's it, it definitely saves a lot of time, as well as um, the stock images just, of course, just makes the, the listing look more professional, but for it, like I t like I said earlier, sometimes some images, it looks kind of fishy in, in certain lightings and stuff like that. So it's just better to have the stock image as well as an actual photo of the listing.